Welcome back to Let's Play. No, Resident Evil 4 Blind. <laughs> You know, despite how frustrated I can get at this game like the previous part, I still keep going back to it. Not in a way where I'm like, no, fuck this shit, I'm not playing this for ages. Now after that crap. Also, when I was editing the previous part, I was like, you know, that fight was annoying, but a fair bit of it was on my part there, really. Those enemies are still annoying, but you know, just observe their pattern upon realizing that they, you know, like if you do this, they'll immediately go, hur, 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 hur. you know, don't do that. Just walk around and they won't even attack you, provided you walk right up to them. Keep your distance, wait for them to turn around, aim the rifle, bam, shaman, the bam, bam, twice, and you're good. It's all you need to do, but I'm an idiot. Also, fitly enough, this would be part 21, right? It's the 21st of September. It's almost like, oh yeah, recorded a part every day for September. I mean, when did I even start recording for this one? It's like I record like multiple parts each record session, at least two. So, it must have been quite a bit into September. Let me actually check. I mean, I might have edited part one on the same day that I recorded it, so I don't know. Let me have a look-see. Really? <laughs> that was on the 6th of September. Uh, how's that add up? Maybe it does. At least, I mean, there was like one occasion where I recorded three or four parts, though, in one, one sitting. I don't get it. I wonder how long this game is going to be from Leon Ad, because I've seen a clip of Leon suplexing some motherfuckers, so I assume there's at least a fair bit left, because we haven't been given the power to suplex yet. <laughs> it's just on there, I was like, oh, finally, I can just, like, do this instead. <laughs> but that's completely pointless, you can just pick it off the bloody thing. But I'm not looking. They're staring at each other. You know what, I should probably reload that. And switch it out for just this for now. Even though... I do sense boss fight because, I mean, we're right at the end of the castle. It doesn't look like it's going to have the biggest room. I mean, really, that room should have been the boss room, but it was more like, here's a bunch of enemies room. Maybe I could have destroyed the thing in the center of the room, I don't know. But I wasn't going to waste ammo to find out if that were true or not, you know? And I wasn't going to look it up either, because then would probably spoil it. Ashley! Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy! Don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? Really? Which job is Hmm. Where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you! No more games! Kill him! I mean, he says he's 20, but Quickly, he's certainly acting. We shall prepare for the ritual! Uh, Leon, you're alive. 
I mean, there's not anywhere else to explore, surely. So maybe you have nine lives, but it doesn't matter now, Mr. Kennedy. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Hm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! No response, that Leon. It's like, please calm down, freaking rat. So he's like, I'm 20 years old. So for some reason, I thought I thought I was playing so much. It's like, oh yeah, mind the black box. It's like, how'd this guy die? It's like wrong game. I've already completed that one now as well. Like I said, the previous score in 21 parts. You know, kind of think of it, I wonder if these are like, uh, you know, they're obviously a part of their cult, but these might be people that uh, were like, ah, Salazar, we don't agree with what you're doing, you're, you're being used. He's like, silence, into the pit of spikes you go. Either that, or you just did it for the shits and giggles. Crown. Where are we? What? We got a new map now? They psyched us out here. It's like, oh, you know, well, there's not really anything left of the castle left now. No, we didn't have the map for under the castle now, did we? No. Rabba right the village. I kind of miss the village. We've been stuck in this castle forever now. <laughs> Are we ever going to be back outside with the villagers or anything? As dickish as they were, you know. Kind of miss them a little bit. And I wonder if we're going to like have some kind of secret lab or something somewhere. Pretty much seems uh, a staple of Resident Evil games that does, you know. Kind of think, did Resident Evil 3 have something like that? I think it did. Wait, what? Did I just... What? Th that's... Ooh, lovely. What do you got? Welcome. <laughs> what is got that? Some rare moving on things on sale, stranger. What are you selling? Crown, we have two divots, like something might fit inside. Is that all, stranger? He's like, ah, oh, unless it's like, you know, 10,000. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Thank you. Handcraft a gold band with a beautiful decoration carved around it. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? No large cases today. Striker. A wide shot, it enables faster firing than the standard shotgun. Ooh. Probably takes the same kind of rounds, I'd assume. I don't know though. Weapons take up too much inventory space. And you never know when you might stumble upon a free weapon. What are you buying? I'll sh wait. <laughs> We've got a shotgun that's nearly at max firepower. And that's pretty much the same as the starting firepower for the striker. What the hell? Scene. Hmm. Fuck it. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Whenever we get to use the Magnum, it's going to be uh, overpowered. But even though I could just buy the better shotgun, actually, let me compare. What are you buying? What price are we looking at, sir? Oh, 
pricey. I don't think about it. Come back any time. You know what I wonder? Those two uh, bodyguards or whatever of uh, Salazar. I wonder if they're going to like combine into one or something. I can kind of imagine that happening. I mean, Leon, I hope you weren't wearing your best shoes, because uh, you're going to have to throw them out after this venture. You know, I mean, it's been like, probably like near 20 hours that he's been going through all this shit, and I don't think he's had anything to eat or drink. How is he able to even move? I mean, I get that he's, like, he's some tough trained badass, but... I think you get exhausted after a while and be like, I could use some of these. Definitely something on the ceiling there. Maybe it's just a light in there, actually. Yeah, it's just a light in there. Something out there, though. Got a little bit of tension here. Fair play. That's what happens. Have moments where there's no horse monsters or anything like that. Just build up suspense so that when you do run into something, it's like, oh shit. Especially if it's something you haven't seen before in the game up to that point. Branching path. That's probably gonna be locked, so we need to go there for it. But you know, nonetheless, I will check. Never mind. It's like the hunters. You know, in the first game, just the uh, way they did that. Wait. Oh, it's the one forward that's locked. Well, this is feeling a lot more like your classic Resident Evil kind of, uh... I mean, this is like Resident Evil 2, but can't flashback to that now, which I guess is fitting, there's Leon. He was one of the protagonists in Resident Evil 2. Claire was also there, but who gives a fuck about her? She's not in this game. There's left there on the cliffhanger. It's like, I need to find, I gotta find Chris. I gotta find my brother. It's like, yeah, good luck with that. Maybe Resident Evil 5 or 6 will resolve your issue. LN2. It's a liquid nitrogen tank. What's it doing here? It's an elevator shaft. Yeah, the elevator up. Not responding. Power must be out. Of course it is. Why would it be, you know, powers? We've got to go everywhere before we go to our final destination. 
Oh, what the fuck? I pressed L1 and R1. Don't give me that shit game. I feel like those things are gonna come into play. Or maybe not. Maybe we could blow him up or something. Yeah! I'm getting turned around a lot here. Where am I going? Yeah, I'm going in the right direction. I mean, where am I going exactly? <laughs> Don't gonna break it. to give us the quick time of indulging. Excuse me, I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. I feel like I'm supposed to destroy those nitrogen and make them explode. But I don't really seem to be getting the option to do so. Unless I've got to lure this tentacle bastard towards them. Because it's simply not if I'm not moving. Because I'm already getting the lock on the fire. What? And that's blocked off now too? Wait. Maybe there was something back there. I guess this is his right hand. Maybe. Power units. Power on. Please wait approximately four minutes for the elevator to arrive. It's a long wait. Four minutes real time, I assume. Wait, what? Really? It must be locked down for secret reasons. I hope it's temporary. 
so you may not open for us. Oh, fuck. Showtime! Oh boy. Come on, bitch. Oh, good God. Ow. What a fuck ass fuck. Oh, come on. I do not understand. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything to this monstrosity. Would you stop? Yeah. Fuck you now. All right. Whoa, no fuck. Wait, is that just give an option to push it over? Eat nitrogen, bitch! Where am I going? Glad I didn't waste the freaking magnum round on it, I think. I was questioning doing that. Come on, come on! Keep running. Oh, fuck off. Elevator sucks. God damn it. Oh, fuck off. The freaking quick time events really dodgy with the timing.
Here we go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gonna miss my bus. I mean my elevator. Oh fuck off twice. But quick time event followed by quick time event PPF. Yeah. How annoying. Later, bitch. Good thing you uh, got kicked out of the elevator, even though you ran into it. But I pressed it the button. It seems down. that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done. Who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> it's like... We go from one new antagonist to the next. <laughs> I mean, Sadler seems to be the main big bad. And cheese. But there's probably another one after him, like, pulling the strings. For all I know. And it's just like, are oh, you defeated villain of the week number one? Well, here's a vi uh, um, villain of the week number two. I mean, to be fair, Salazar is taking a lot longer to get uh, kicking his ass than he did for the other guy. The other guy, we kicked his ass and he hasn't been mentioned since. I don't think we even got a name on that guy. 87... Three deaths, 83% hit radio, our accuracy is improved. I wonder if we could have defeated that monster, we probably could. And it's probably an achievement for it, I assume. I mean, I haven't had any trophies in ages, so I assume I probably skip skipped out on a few of those unknowingly there. That monster man was overpowered. And it looked like it was just tanking everything I was firing at it, you know? I mean, I assume you're supposed to use the uh, oh, magnum rounds. Maybe they're encouraging you to use the magnum against that enemy, but I didn't want a chance using it on a potential boss that doesn't die. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? It's like there's all these upgrades they're giving for the mine throw, but I still don't have one. Maybe we'll find one at some point. I mean, when you start finding ammo for a weapon, then you know that that weapon's going to come into use now. Should I? You know, fuck it. Is wise. that all, stranger? Should I? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I feel like I'm probably wasting my money to do now. I could just buy the better one. I mean, right there, man. I think I got that one as well. That one's also pretty good. And I'm sticking to the same old farty one right here. We could be moving up in the world here, but no, I'm just like, oh, I'm still upgrading the same one that found God knows how long ago. It's like, you know, there, there's better ones you can use, right? What are you selling? Probably gonna kick my ass at later stage, it's not upgrading. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. I gotta think of it, it's the same with the rifle, isn't it? What are you buying? Yeah, yeah, that one's way more powerful. Maybe I should invest in getting that at some point. I mean, look how weak the rifle is compared to the, the, this one. Way, and it fires faster too. Has better capacity, has way more firepower.
But we'd also have to buy the scope as well, so that'd be annoying. And, you know, we don't have the funds right now. Come back any time. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose, you know, having all these upgrades for every individual weapon, and then be like, oh, and by the way, uh, you should probably just say, fuck these upgrades, get the better one, and upgrade that one instead. And then the next best one comes along. Lewis Memo 2. The first Castellan buried the last plug is deep underground below the castle to hide their very distance. Oh. And we're in that general area. But when Salazar released the last plague, no one thought he could bring them back alive. Because when Salazar found them, they were all just fossilized remains. Everyone knew that the parasitic organisms could not survive their hosts, that they couldn't sustain life on their own. But when Salazar and his men excavated the remains, it almost appeared as if the last plague were just waiting to be discovered so that they could resurrect. Several years later, unexplained convulsions started occurring among the villagers who helped with the excavation of the last plague. Then one day, all of a sudden, these villagers turned into violent savages. They later found out it was caused by the last virus. Although they appeared fossilized, they were able to survive the long years by lying in a dormant state at the secular level, remaining in a spore-like form. Apparently, during the excavation, the villagers inhaled the spores, and within their bodies, the parasites began became active again. So the last virus were resurrected. Even as I'm writing, the excavation of the last plagues continues. God only knows how many of these plagues have been resurrected, not to mention the countless numbers of Ganado, Ganados, whatever, that have been created. Their inhumane activity must be put to an end. If they are not stopped, people around the world could turn into victims of this crazy cult organization. Hmm. That'd be a terrifying thing, wouldn't it? It's like, oh, we found these weird fossil, foss, fossils, <laughs> fossils. It's just like, how interesting, and then it just drives everyone back to insane. We don't have Ashley with this time. They must be really taking their time with our ritual shit. Welcome. Because we got time to play a game. Despite how I, much I suck at it, I always seem to go with this one. <laughs> what I should really do is when I run out of ammo midway through a game, just switch to the other weapon and just continue on. Wait, is it? This this looks different. Have you finally changed your background? I can play C now. looks like A to me though. Maybe I clicked on the wrong one. Now fooling me, you son of a bitch. Got them all. There's a first. <laughs> nice. I'll just leave it at that. Don't, don't want to like get too carried away with that. Otherwise, this just like turn into just like let's play the shooting gallery rather than saving Ashley. <laughs> what do you need, stranger? Two bottle caps. Wonder if there's a trophy for getting all of them. Possibly. Yeah, it looks like uh, each row has it for each stage, so we've got all the ones for the E game. About half ish. I mean, how, how would you have half when it's like a total of. Wait. Oh wait, yeah, we do have half. I thought it was five, but it's six of them. We got half of the B one, and we got just under half for the C game, and there'll be a D game as well, clearly. 
Zealot with shield. So like you saying wedding, wedding. Or wearing. <laughs> Don Pedro. Closest we'll get to have a look at these horrible monstrosities without them, you know, destroying us. I mean, that's pretty horrifying, really. Maybe when the D game gets introduced, maybe I'll try to do better and get all the other ones. But I ain't promising on that, because I probably won't get them all. So, where to next? Through here, wait. Yeah. It's a bit odd the way that's connected, isn't it? That is, yeah. And it took four bloody minutes for our elevator to get there. And presumably four minutes to get back down there. So if they haven't done the ritual yet, they're really, really super incompetent. Because my god, they've been given so much time. And it's always funny, isn't it? It's just like, oh yeah, that's your current destination you need to go to. But then you see like, oh no, it's not going to be the final destination of this place though, because it's freaking, well, not necessarily too much bigger than that, but it's still a ways to go there. And we got another uh, villain on the horizon. Kind of looks like uh, uh, the uh, secondary antagonist of Resident Evil 3. It's been a while since we've seen the old villagers, isn't it? Hello, village people. You've been doing well. Evidently, we've not been doing too well. Seem to be, you know, seeing as he just burns to ashes. Well, not even ashes, he probably just completely disappears from the earth. Or perhaps it becomes one with the earth. What have we here? Caution overloading dynamite on trolley will trip the circuit breaker. Sounds like something we gotta do then. Well, either do or not do. One of the two. Probably the do, though. <laughs> How are you guys doing about your work in here? Where are you gonna come up from? Oh! A ladder of justice, sir. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Come around, everyone. It's the Ladder of Justice. No, no takers. Oh, it's an out taker. Ladder of Justice. Ladder of Justice. And come on, you there. Come to the Ladder of Justice. And... You guys, too. Everyone, come to the Ladder of Justice. Right this minute. We're having a party. And that guy... That guy's not invited. Those guys, are they're not invited. They're just standing there. Fuck it. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, what a dick move. Ow! Fire breathing asshole! Come to the ladder of justice. It is your friend. Clearly, the ladder of justice is the way to go. Ah! Has he got freaking dynamite? Jump down for the spoils. And finish that guy. Yeah, yeah. Shadow whatever you want. I do not understand what you're saying anyway. Go and climb the ladder of justice. <laughs> ah! I should really just jump down fish him right there. But no, the ladder of justice must prevail. Any goods? No. Well, what is this? Lever to move a trolley. Mm. Ah, some dynamite. Oh, that's probably jumping down to the air. Uh, don't overload the trolley with dynamite now. Yeah, you'd think there'd be an option to, you know, jump over there. There's only an option to jump down. And you know what? That'll do for this bomb gun going properly. Nope. We have a ladder of justice on our hands first. Yeah! Now, now I'll see you next time. Oh, God, the park maybe after. See you next time. See you next time.